And the latest from the National Hurricane Center came in as of 11 o'clock. It shows that this storm has maintained its intensity as it's moving across the Atlantic and into the Caribbean. This is the infrared satellite view of this storm. It gives you a complete view of all the outer bands of this thing. And in the middle there, you see a very distinct eye, a very uh, concise and eye uh, that's moving across the uh, center of this thing and right on into I just call it this thing. This thing is just monstrous. It is a huge hurricane, Category 5 status still, maintaining its Category Five status extremely dangerous and heading now towards the Turks and Caicos. Now we stop this here right around this evening at 8 p.m. and into uh, tomorrow we start to see it making its way. 75 miles out currently is where it is east northeast of Dominican Republic, about 120 miles southeast of Grand Turk Island. As a Category Four it is going to skirt the top portion of Cuba and start to make a bit of a turn heading into Saturday and Sunday morning. Now by Sunday we're expecting to see a Category Four storm making its way up and. And again, we want to just show you that although it's making its way up the eastern and southeastern portion of Florida, the hurricane force winds from the center of this storm extend out 60 miles, and the tropical storm force winds extend out 185 miles from the center. So again, this is a monster storm, and for more on that, we'll be talking to Marty in just a moment. Lynn, that's the latest. All right, thanks, Tim. Yes, let's go to Marty for the latest on watches and warnings already posted for Florida. Marty. Well, thank you very much, Lynn, and everybody. Tim and I off the air have been talking about this thing. Every time we bring up a graphic, instead of saying, Would you look at this storm? We find ourselves saying, Would you look at this thing? It's, it's, it's monstrous. Here's the spaghetti modeling that pretty much agrees with the, solu the current solution. Remember, we're living four to six hours at a time. Uh, this information is only valid until the next update comes our way. So what we're looking at here is a spaghetti model that totally agrees with the solution Tim just showed you in, in our cone, and that is the eye of the storm to go right up I-95 and then head inland, eventually with the remnants moving our way, which we'll be talking about over the next few days. Should be a little wind, should be a little rain, should not be tropical in nature. But nonetheless, again, this is as of this minute. We're living this four to six hours at a time. The next update, when it comes, it's a new slate, completely clean. This is a fantastic graphic. This is the GFS global wind model. And I want you to look at the storm headed up Florida, now inland. Now watch that energy move our way and then out to see this is really some kind of event. Now what we want to do right now is take it down to the Florida Peninsula and look at the initial uh, watches that are out. Hurricane watch in effect now for well all the way up through Palm Beach County on the eastern side of the Florida Peninsula. It's just uh, you know and of course you're looking up at big cities Naples, Fort Myers, Tampa Bay. The the effects are going to be enormous. But right now the initial watches slash and or warnings which they will be have now been issued by the National Hurricane Center for Florida. The event is on. Lynn, take it away. Thanks, Marty. There are now at least 10 deaths being blamed on Hurricane Irma.